gold and silver colored embroidery as an independent work can be seen in tangible objects dating back to the Tang Dynasty. Gold and silver colored embroidery has a long history, and the earliest example comes from the underground palace of the Tang Dynasty in Fomen Temple, Shaanxi. During the Qing Dynasty, embroidery shops in Ningbo became increasingly prosperous, with a representative one being the Zhu Delhi Eye Flower Writing Shop, which was engaged in embroidery and drawing industry for the sixth generation. After the Opium War, foreign missionaries entered Ningbo and introduced foreign embroidery techniques. Ningbo embroidery workers cleverly combined traditional folk embroidery techniques with foreign embroidery techniques, forming a unique Ningbo gold and silver colored embroidery. By the early days of the founding of the People's Republic of China, Haishan Temple and Zhangtang Street Tiani Square in Ningbo had become industry streets, with Sanshi to Sishi embroidery shops alone. In 1956, in response to the national call, Ningbo launched a wave of handicraft industry reform, with individual handicraft shops merging into handicraft cooperatives, including embroidery cooperatives. In the 1960s, Ningbo's gold and silver colored embroidery entered its heyday, but by the 1980s, Ningbo's gold and silver colored embroidery, like other handicraft techniques, had experienced a historic decline around the year 2000 due to the rapid development of technology, changes in lifestyle and concepts, especially the rise of computerized embroidery. The traditional embroidery industry was severely affected. Large and small embroidery factories in Ningbo were shut down, and most embroidery workers changed careers after the dissolution of the enterprise. The traditional handicrafts of gold, silver, and colored embroidery in Ningbo have declined to the lowest point in history, gradually fading out of people's sight and even facing the risk of loss.